Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about brake recuperation on a BMW i3, otherwise known as regen braking. And it's a really unique feature of electric vehicles where you're able to capture the energy of motion and put that energy back into the battery. It also allows for something called one pedal driving where you can use the acceleration pedal also to slow the car down by taking your foot off of that pedal. And uh, again, it's something that uh, is very unique to EVs. And finally, because the uh, car is being slowed down or even coming to a complete stop by the uh, action of the electric motor and not the physical brakes, the brakes can last a long time. So in the uh, e-drive screen, you can see where the uh, power can be flowing from the battery to the wheels. Or in the case of regen, it can reverse and flow from the wheels back into the battery. In this case, also the uh, Rex was working at the same time. So it gives you a graphic of what we're talking about, about taking the energy from motion and getting it back into the battery so it uh, can be reused and extends the range of the vehicle. On the main driver's screen, there's a white moving square that uh, moves back and forth across the uh, power bar. And to the right is when you're accelerating using power. And when it swings to the left, it's when it's recuperating power and putting it back into the battery. So what is important for EV drivers to know? Well, there are some issues uh, using recuperative braking that's not the same as a regular ICE vehicle. Um, and it's something you need to be aware of and also make sure that you're always ready to take control of the car at any one time because uh, the actions of the brakes are not necessarily the same as what you're used to. So first of all, for uh, recuperation, the different driving modes, meaning Comfort, Eco, or Eco Plus, can uh, change the strength of the braking that you feel with the one-pedal braking. Secondly, if the battery is full, there's no more room to store additional electricity generated from the recu brake recuperation, so that will no longer work. So with the battery full and coming up to a stop sign, you can see that the regen braking is not very uh, aggressive, and I actually have to hit the physical brakes. You can tell that the uh, braking aggressiveness is way reduced, especially when it was uh, somewhat colder outside. So under these conditions, you have to be aware that uh, the braking is not going to be what you think it is, and it does vary over time. The next issue is cold temperatures. If the battery is cold, it can no longer accept large currents from the regen braking process, and uh, that will limit the amount of braking that can be applied without using physical brakes. On the main uh, display, you can see here we're in cold temperatures where the amount of power was restricted, as is shown by the blue bar, but it also affects the uh, braking as well. Rough roads is another problem. Potholes, train tracks, anything that is going to cause the uh, motor mounts to jerk around can limit the regen process. Uh, when this is limited, some people report it, or I believe people report it as being unintended acceleration because that's the regen braking uh, disengages, you can feel the car surge forward and it feels like it's accelerating. So if you're on a fairly bumpy road or going over railroad tracks while in uh, regen braking, for example, right now, I let off of it. If it's rough enough, you can actually feel the uh, car surge forward because the uh, regen braking will disengage, uh, causing you to have to uh, compensate for that. The next issue has to deal with uh, DSC. Uh, DSC is short for Dynamic Stability Control, which is a suspension control system. So the first problem with this is uh, uh, aggressive turning can disable the, the regen, and then it will s seem like there's uh, less braking avail available. And also if the roads are slippery, the DSC can also limit the application of regen. And finally, if for some reason a cruise control is being used and it gets deactivated. The application of the full region braking can occur at uh, high speed, causing some abrupt uh, slowdown of the vehicle. There may be a one to two second time period before that actually uh, uh, gets engaged, but it can uh, create a, you know abrupt slowdown if you're not ready to take over and uh, put your foot on the acceleration to keep moving the car forward. So if you're new to driving an EV, you need to be aware of these conditions that can cause region braking to 
activate or disengage and be able to compensate and be aware of these features. Otherwise, it can be a scary event and uh, you can potentially lose control of the car or hit another car if you're not aware of that. Anyway, uh, be safe and uh, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe for more videos.